Hello everybody, welcome to fifth video of our course and now I am on scene one and I have built this canvas and uh, I just designed the canvas and uh, I expect that you can also design uh, your canvas according to your needs and this is the uh, main menu and I have placed background image here and uh, also I uh, imported some PNG icons uh, images here and placed them accordingly also I have added some sliders UI elements here and then the buttons here on the left side so now what we have to do first of all I have uh, some I change this resolution actually and I will just move uh, this resolution back to 1280 and 720 which uh, we need for our project and after this I will do the other things uh, for options and about a uh, menu uh, I am going to start with these uh, sections so here I am going to duplicate this main menu duplicate and then I will hide this menu uncheck by this unchecking main menu okay now we are on main menu uh, duplicate menu I will change the name to about menu and here now we will uh, make some changes uh, okay accordingly so uh, here we don't need actually this uh, uh, info section uh, actually we need this border and title thing and other things we don't need so we can delete these things here and title we can change the title to about uh, us and we can uh, we I am using text pro okay text mesh pro which is a free uh, asset for uh, our texts so you can also use uh, this text uh, mesh pro asset in your projects okay and you can create text effects like this and multiple gradient colors and lot of other things okay so now we are going to um, resize this thing uh, that section and I think maybe it will look like uh, this is good I think and about us we will move to here and now uh, this section uh, we can remove this section okay so what need we need here we need only the quit button uh, we need a move to back button only on this about us canvas okay so we can move one button here we can delete the other buttons and yeah like this and then what we can do yeah we can delete this thing also we can make this section a little bit bigger and now we will move this quit button here and we can change the text to uh, back to main menu like this and then for this quit button we can select the quit button choose this uh, uh, scaling uh, tool and then we can scale our button like this okay now I think we are ready to go we will add some text here for a power section and then uh, we can move further okay I'll pause the video and resume after writing some text so I have completed the text uh, about us text now we have a button in um, in our scene so we want to uh, a user we want user to click on this button and back to main menu this one okay so what we can do we can just come to this button come to inspector tab we can click on this plus sign for adding an event and then we can drag this button our here and then we can add a function game object and then set active boot so now uh, we have this check mark here so if it's checked it means that when somebody clicks on uh, this button it will be display the uh, about menu okay so we don't need that because we need that when a user click on this button he, he should move to main menu okay so uh, again we will click on plus 
and then we will add main menu here and now we will go to game object and select a bool and check on this menu so what will happen that when somebody come to click on this uh, section this main menu will appear okay let's check this uh, functionality so click on this so you can see we are on, uh, now on the main menu okay and we will enable main menu and we can now uh, hide this uh, back to main menu uh, uh, sorry not back to main menu this uh, info uh, about menu sorry so we can uncheck this section and now we are on main menu and we will add a similar function on this about uh, button okay so similarly we will go to uh, click on this plus sign we will drag our about button here and then we will add function here and again we will add plus and then we will drag our about menu here and we will add function here and we'll check about menu that's it we'll play the game click on about menu now we are on about a section and we can hide this menu we can enable this about menu we can come to uh, this section actually uh, this order we have to fix like this now we will duplicate our about menu control D and we will rename this to options menu and again we will duplicate and we can rename it to shop menu and then we can hide this menu about menu we can hide this options shop menu we can come to options menu and we can just uh, uh, make some options here i will just uh, create a panel ui and then panel and then we can resize this panel and then we will adjust this panel like this yeah now it's fine i think and we can color this to something like reddish yeah to match the colors okay and uh, now we can uh, just uh, make some text here text element and we can come to ui and text mesh pro text available here so we can just uh, select the font style and here we will write move uh, forward or accelerate yeah it's a racing game accelerate so after that we will duplicate this text I think we need five text fields here and uh, then we can select this text and make it like 24 and now we will rename the text to accelerate then after this move right move left break And now we can come to move right and uh, we can say it uh, right turn and uh, left turn and then for break we can say break and then for horn we can say horn yeah so now we can duplicate these all and we'll move here 
and then we will rename to for accelerate up and here we write up arrow key r w okay so this text we should make like uh, 18 maybe no 24 is fine we will just uh, uh, position these things so we can change the uh, color of this text to something like uh, maybe black not black gray yeah this color no uh, red color is fine I think yeah we will select red color so right turn uh, for right arm we will use uh, uh, right arrow key or uh, key or uh, D okay so after this we will come to left turn left arrow key or a and for break we can use down arrow key and for horn we'll make uh, I think uh, H for horn uh, for horn we can write uh, H like this okay now it will be it will uh, confuse the user so we can just type H like this okay so now we will adjust the things so H and break down key and move left left key and then move right right key that's it up key and then H and then we can move these items and position is accordingly so we will do some changes in it and then yes I think this will match the options as well yeah now it's fine so our options menu is also ready